what's happening crypto farm so uh dlt con update it is basically the um let me just lame and break it down here now it's going to be a distributed ledger technology conference it is focusing on the internet of value into ledger protocol and how it's going to be facilitated moving forward how it's going to change the world not in just business but in everyone's personal lives as well per second payments coil subscriptions there's a hell of a lot for us for us to get through talking about everything basically from ilp to interled jaw to hyper led jaw to over led jaw to ever led jaw supply chain ledgers ibm v chain we'll be talking about it all basically um, it doesn't matter whether you're a bitcoin maxer whether you're an xrp maxer if you'd even call yourself a maxer it's a crypto maxer you call yourself an internet of value maxi like me let's all just get together a little bit of networking share some knowledge and um we're going to share some business ideas as well so i've spoke to a lot of people um about the love for brand that we're building and how we can basically put anything after love for um so there's a lot of ideas emerging there's a lot of ideas emerging i've had people in my dms wanting to get wanting to get going with a few of them already um especially gym stuff especially gym stuff now i'd love to open a gym tomorrow love love for health and fitness but the capital just didn't there yet guys but the ideas are so we're gonna get together at dlt con we're all gonna all gonna have a good chin wag about the different ideas we've got or like um network for the future basically i can't stress enough that i wanted to run this conference not only to meet members of the community right so i want to meet you all i want I, I, I basically we're all just going to get together on the day and we're just going to meet and network there's going to be a few of us doing presentations there's going to be a fireside chat with tore that should be awesome um spqr present presenting crypto mod trades is there we've got um habitus um projects gonna be there from from rando we've got low there's a lot of people coming basically um and i, I can't i can't wait to get there i can't wait for it to come and i can't wait to see you all but i want to stress we've done it for people who were already in the space yeah we've done it to meet the community yeah but make no mistake, we would also like, if you've got some family members and friends, sorry, I've got a stone in my shoe, so I'm trying to get the stone out of my fucking shoe as well, speak to you. But if you've got any family and friends who don't quite get it, you're talking to them about X, they've heard of Bitcoin, talking to them about XRP, and they don't quite get it, bring them along, drag them along. Just, just get them along because I tell you what, after this day, they will get it more. They'll understand it more. Anyone on Twitter, like Altcoin Sarah, Altcoin Sarah needs to be there. They, they're the kind of people that need to come. The kind of people that don't believe XRP is going to do what it's going to do. Like I know, Bitcoin's going to going to be what it's going to be. It's going to be a store of value, and it's going to be digital diamonds for the next gen next uh, generation. That's the be all and end all of Bitcoin, I'm afraid. Store of value, digital diamonds, be all and end all. You can still spend it, yeah, but won't be most people's main currency. No chance. Neither will XRP. XRP will be the main bridge. Do you know what I mean? So as we, as, as we watch this internet of value get constructed and all these people need to realise that the banks aren't really going anywhere and they'll want the banks to sell. Let's say, for instance, Altcoin Sarah has 10 bitcoin in a in a in a wallet now right now she's got 10 bitcoin in a wallet 100 grand over 100 grand and then someone robs it it was on a ledger it was on a private cold storage wallet and someone robs it who's she moaning to she's going to the police so what the fuck are they gonna do so you you wanted to be your own bank silly cow no offence to say it, I call it like that's what you would be at that moment. I'm not saying you're a silly cow now, but if you lost your crypto on a Bitcoin network and then you went to the police asking to try and get it back, they're just going to laugh at you. 
you're going to do walk in a bank and say, oh, I had some crypto, but someone robbed it off, mate. Can you help me get it back? The bank's just going to go, get fucked. You wanted rid of us the other year, get fucked. You want you to be your own bank? Well, you're your own bank now. Insure yourself, you're not bad. You, you was your own custodial service. You was your own batch. You was your own poly sign. You was your own this. Yeah, you wanted to do it yourself. You wanted... <coughs> You wanted control of your own value, didn't you, dickhead? Yeah, does it feel good now? You've been robbed and you can't get it fucking back, dickhead. Again, not calling out Coinsider a dickhead, but just using her as an example as a Bitcoin maxer. They need to realise and wake up that all us on XRP and all that, that yeah, we love XRP, yeah, we want to be our own bank, yeah, I want to be in control of some of my assets, but don't be, let's not be fucking stupid. Once it's worth two mil, it's not staying, it's not staying in my house. Stop staying in my house. Fucking crazy. Shit. It's barely worth a couple of grand what I've got. And it's not even on one ledger. It's spread. <laughs> I've only got a, a few grand's worth. A few thousand pounds worth of crypto is all I've got legitimately. And it's on. <laughs> it's not even just on one ledger. So what the fuck do people think it's going to be like once it's worth two million? If it gets there. If when it gets there. I'm not leaving that in my fucking house. It's going to a custodial service who will store, secure, and insure it for me. Are you fucking crazy? This is what the Bitcoin Maxis don't understand, and this is what um, DLT Con's gonna teach people. We need to wake up to how the world actually works. We need insurance, we need security. And you can't provide security for yourself when you're your own bank with just a ledger in your bedroom. You just, um, you just can't do it. It's as simple as that. Well, you can, but if someone fucking robs you, it's tough shit and your money's gone. So these are the kind of conversations we're going to be having. Um, we will be showing you what kind of custodial services will be coming out in the future. Again, this is why you've got so much FUD. It's why you've got so much, um, so much misdirection, so much lying, all these fucking clickbait FUDsters. Because they just try to shadow away until they're all red there. It's like Japan SBI. Is it keep getting put off until America's red there? America keep going, yo, you can't be you can't be dropping all that shit. Yeah, we're not even ready, mate. Who fucking knows? What I do know is DLT Con, Distributed Ledger Conference in Manchester on the 7th of September is gonna be a great day of not only just networking, getting to meet and greet people of the community, sharing ideas for the future. And yeah, it, it is going to be a great day. So grab your friends, grab your family and grab a ticket each and come along. Um, I can't wait to meet his army. I'm, I'm super, super looking forward to it. Um, yeah, basically, just wanted to throw a proper update out on it. But yeah, Maxis are welcome. Everyone is welcome. You're, all, you're actually all encouraged to come and learn a little bit about the internet of value because some of you clearly don't understand how this is going down. And um, you know the script. Live long or not. Or if you're coming, I'll see you there on the 7th. If not, it's only you that's missing out and next year's will be a hell of a lot bigger. Trust me. This is the first of many. We love crypto. We love XRP. And we love a bit of Bitcoin, I'm not even going to lie. Digital diamonds, baby. <laughs> Have a good week, guys. Take care. We love you more than anything. Peace.